Hey guys, we are here at GDC and uh, we're still sitting down with Louie who just showed us an uh, awesome look at Suzy Q, but uh, he's also got a couple of games from a uh, frequent collaborator of his and good friend uh, from Easy 8 Software uh, who made uh, Pocket Boxing, who you probably you know, know him from that. Um, and this is actually a couple of games that we've talked about before. The first one is Slam Mania, a arcade wrestling game. So uh, let's take a look at where this one's at. So what doesn't really come through just watching videos and whatever yeah. is the control scheme yeah. and how like it's all based on like, swipes and taps. Yeah. Um, so once you once you you know get a, a, a feel for you know how the moves are done and everything. It just, the gameplay flows really nicely Yeah. Uh, when I'm not screwing up my moves. That's okay. Yeah, you're the next block. And remember, this is this is inspired by an older wrestling game. Matt Mania, maybe? I Matt Mania, that's right, yeah. And so um, you'll notice, like, especially that intro screen with, like, the announcer and stuff like that. Um, this is all kind of homages to that game. Yeah, yeah. And it also supports, uh, supports two-player play. Oh, cool. Uh, where, uh, I was going to say where it really shines, but no, as, as like an arcade wrestling game, yeah. uh, especially like if, if you were a fan of like Matt Mania or, uh, uh, or even like something like, like Punch Out, where that, yeah. that sort of feel of like the opponents are really like different challenges to, to overcome yeah. and you have to use different approaches, yeah. uh, then like this is totally up your alley. Yeah. Uh, and the um, the move system is uh, is fairly simple. It's based on these on these stars. So if you fling your opponent off the ropes and then like hit him with something, yeah. then you earn stars. And then once you get them in the hold, then you can spend the stars on slams, oh, cool. which allow you. That's where like the big damage is. Yeah. And then, so it makes you build up to it. Yeah. And I thought it was interesting. I've actually I played this game in its early stages. And I thought it was interesting that he originally had it as like a free movement sort of game, and it just wasn't fun. And now he's restricted it to kind of like the single plane that you're on, um, and it made it a lot more fast and fun. And it's more it feels more like a fighting game now in a lot of ways. Yeah, it that that change which which he had been sort of going back and forth on for yeah. for a little bit. I think was absolutely for the better because it, it distills the gameplay more to, to what matters. The positioning the positioning didn't really matter. It was, you know, were you on the same plane right. or were you not? And whenever you weren't on the same plane, nothing was happening. It was just frustrating. Yeah. So, no, that was absolutely the, the right move. Oh, there you go. That's a nice. brain buster. That's the big one. Maybe I can get a three count. So then you try and go for a cover. Two. Yeah, there you go. And three. Oh, there you go. Sweet. And so, uh, do you have any idea of like uh, time frame for this one? No, no. This is still there's still some things in flux. So you know, no uh, no time frame, no no dates uh, to announce. Well, it looks just really want cool. to show off some progress. Yeah, on it definitely it. looks uh, in a more polished state than uh, the last time we posted the trailer. I think. So uh, that's awesome. This is Slam Mania. It looks very cool. And then uh, no time frame yet, but we'll be keeping an eye on it and let you know if there's any kind of uh, updates we can post. And then. Uh, uh, you have a second game. Right? Yes. So too. much, much like at a wrestling <laughs> event, <laughs> there's now a main event. Oh, the main event. So the main event. So we're gonna jump over to this other game, another one that we posted about before, called uh, Flicky Marble, which is kind of kind of Marble Madness inspired and kind of. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain. It's kind of a platformer. It is. It's, it's kind of like a ball rolling platformer. Uh, <laughs> I've mentioned before, this has been almost like a sister game to Suzy Q. Yeah. yeah. We've been, uh, we've collaborated on, on a number of games, uh, but this we've been sort of doing in parallel. Uh -huh. And though the games play quite differently and yeah. look very different and everything, there have been a lot of sort of parallel lessons that we could sort of learn from each other. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> what really, uh, what really gets me about uh, Flicky Marble is the control scheme. Yeah, definitely. So, if you hold down on the screen, uh -huh. you can move your thumb around and get like little precise motions. Yeah. But you can flick and really get going. Yeah. And if you're really going and you need to stop, yeah. you can hit the brakes 
and just, just by holding the screen. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's done with this control. I, I played an early version of this too, and it actually it looks a lot better in a lot better shape now. But um, just the control scheme alone, it's just so satisfying and fun to uh, use your thumb in that way. It's almost like an, an extension of your body or something going right into the game. It just really cool. Feels so intuitive yeah. and so like tactile yeah. to play the game. Uh, it's it's hard too. I remember it being pretty tricky. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing that's, that's, um, that's really special about the game is that, uh, especially in these, these earlier levels yeah. with a lot of bumpers around and things like that, yeah. it's, it's quite approachable. Yeah. However, a good player really, like, really giving it yeah. can do these crazy, like, level skips and stuff like that. Find a big jump or something like that. Like, the level I was just on, there yeah. are ways see the exits a lot lower there are ways that you can almost from the very start of the level basically do like a crazy jump yeah. and land down at the like at the goal area wow. you can do like crazy stuff like that yeah. grabbing air off ramps uh phil who's the the creator his son uh always does like the craziest moves really? <laughs> and kind of realizing that yeah. uh Phil has put in a, a feature that I'll be uh, I'll be showing off in a bit. Pretty good, yeah. Uh, which is he's put in gameplay recordings of him oh, okay. yeah. basically doing like master runs oh, really? of all the levels, which you can unlock through progression through the game. So that you know if you've been playing in this sort of like timid way where yeah. you're being really careful it shows you hey you don't have like, to do that like hey there's like there's another level you could be playing at yeah. oh man that's cool and uh oh, oh. especially with the timer going and the three stars and stuff like that i feel like people will really latch on and get into uh heated competitions over you know completion times and stuff like that especially when you find like uh you know a secret shortcut or something like that that's always a big deal especially it makes me think of like donut games with like their uh, cat physics and stuff like that. Yeah, Our community especially got really into uh, competing in, in times for that. And the the fact that uh, that everything is uh, is physics driven. Yeah. There's there's like a physicality to it that allows you to do things like like these clutch climbs up like ledges that you thought you yeah. could fall off yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Can you get to one of those videos now? Oh, there we go. I do think I have. So I've unlocked the ones for the levels that I've done. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Let's for. just see one to see what it's like. So this is the master completion time. So in, in oh, that and if, getting all the gems. Yeah. So these are these are complete runs. They're not speed oh, wow. runs. Okay. So he gets all of the star coins, all of the gems. And this isn't Phil. This is his son that has done these. Um, or is it a mixture? I, I think it's a mix of the two. Yeah. Uh, this one was a uh, was a play from Phil. Oh. Look at that! Wow! Right on that top platform yeah. to get the coin. That's really cool. Yeah. So as you can see, like the the level has a um, the level has like a high skill ceiling. Yeah. It's yeah. approachable at first. Yeah. But like the the folks who are gonna want to put the time in yeah. to really master how this game plays. Yeah are going to be like able like they'll be rewarded with like some really crazy uh, like some crazy completion times yeah. or just some crazy jumps and, th and yeah. stuff like that uh, another thing that um, that's really great about the game for those players who are attempting yeah. those crazy jumps and things is that you'll notice you know i don't make it yeah i'm right back in it restarts real quick yeah, yeah. And, and basically like he's basically plopping Checkpoints down for you yeah. whenever you're on flat ground. Oh, good. That's really cool. Right? Yeah. So, you know, you can, uh, it really incentivizes being bold and being risky yeah. and, and yeah. practicing to, to really nail those amazing runs. And I know this isn't your preferred way to play, but it's probably worth mentioning you can rotate and play in landscape yeah. in on fact, the fly. On the fly. I love, I feel like every game ever should have that, you know, with certain exceptions, but I just love that feature in games. Yeah, I mean, this I is mean kind some, of some games it just wouldn't fit right. for just, right. no, not thinking of any games in particular. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Cuban portrait, come on. <laughs> no, uh, but I do love that, that you can kind of suit, suit yourself and it changes on the fly like that. That's always yeah. good.
So, um, Flicky Marvel, uh, you mentioned this one's a, a little closer to release. Do you have any idea of time frame? No, there's also no announcement. I don't think Phil, like, until it's really, like, in the bag yeah. and just ready to, to get okay. launched, I don't think he wants to promise anything. Though. Okay. He'll, but we can at least know that this one will come before Slam Mania. Is that safe to say? Likely. Yeah, likely. yeah, yeah. Very likely. Okay. Oh, and... Uh, I guess I can. I can show it, but I mean, oh, people, this, yeah, the people won't mode. get the effects. Well, hey, for but those watching at home, if you have three D glasses, yeah, throw them on. There is a three D, a stereoscopic three D mode. Okay, oh caveat: this is an iPod Five. Okay, so, it's so a little. yeah, having to render both views That's is fine. a little much for it. <laughs> In, uh, in these open areas, gameplay is just the very better. It is so <laughs> I have three really glasses, so I'm very excited to uh, give this a try. That's so funny. That's going back old school, man. The red blue glasses. I did it. It's quite funny. I did a casual run into somebody. Basically, I ran off. So yeah, when you have someone who's like. <laughs> kind of, kind of kooky. Yeah. They put in kind of kooky features. Like, <laughs> 3D stereoscopic effect. Stereoscopic. <laughs> Red cyan. Oh, very cool. So that's updated yeah, look at Flicky Marvel. Uh, no release date yet. But like Slam Mania, we'll be keeping an eye on this one, and we'll let you know of uh, any other news. So thanks, Louis, for showing this off on behalf of Phil. Just what we've got coming. Welcome.